In the last few years, we, we've been thinking about it uh, for quite a long time. We've made so many efforts for being present at the World Cup. One of the main difficulties was to be sure that we would have the best players of Portugal rugby. Some other players like myself and some others, we are still playing in, in Portugal. We have uh, different jobs, so we're not professional players. It's just a, a dream come true. Represent Portugal in the World Cup is definitely a dream come true. I remember in the 2007 World Cup, I was still a kid and watching them play it for the first time was really exciting. It was something that, as I grew it more into rugby, it was something that was always an ambition. Representing my country and uh, my family, my friends, and uh, know that uh, to put that jersey on, you have to go through a lot of sacrifices. My name is Tomás Ableton. I'm the captain of the Portuguese national team. In the last few years, we, we've been thinking about it uh, for quite a long time. We've made so many efforts for being present at the World Cup. A place in the Rugby World Cup in France is the prize. Marks for Portugal. It was simply unbelievable. It's one of the most incredible moments I've lived in my, in my uh, life uh, as a coach. People say it in Portugal, uh, it's really typical like the Portuguese way to do stuff at the last minute, at the last try. So this is really like a, a Portuguese way to, to do things. So we're, it's, it's really special for us and this is the way we did it, so we're really proud. I've never seen players so happy. It was incredible. And it's uh, uh, the best uh, reward for a coach it's to see the players happy like that. One of the main difficulties was to be sure that we would have the best players of Portugal rugby together for the weeks to prepare the game and the best players coming from France. The players in France are, are professional and they are used to train uh, during the day. Players in Portugal are amateur, then they, they used to train in the evening. We'll just start off in pairs, we're just going to do a mechanical warm-up, we'll build up and then we'll get some activity at the end. So one ball between two, one on the cone, one with the ball. 40% of our players, are they come from France, they were born in France, but they have a Portuguese ancestry. For me, it's a pride to be there, because it's true that my father was born in Portugal, and I think he's proud of me, and it's something that's important for me. I think it's really important for us to get all the talent uh, that we can, and don't lose this Portuguese identity. Some other players, they were born here in Lisbon, they played all their academy years here in Lisbon and they moved abroad to play professional rugby in the last few years, especially after Patrice. Some other players like myself and some others, we are still playing in, in Portugal. We have uh, different jobs, so we're not professional players. For example, I'm a dentist. I'm working in a company called Guest Century. I'm a, pretty much a salesman there. I'm a, a full-time software developer in a bank in Portugal. My wife is pregnant in the moment. She'll be due in six weeks. So if everything goes to, to plan, uh, I'll be with the kid for three, four days and then we'll be up off to France and then back to rugby. All of the boys that work at the same time that they play, they just took an off license from work so we can focus 100% on the preparation. That's a sacrifice that we're, as a team, we're willing to do to be at such a big stage as the World Cup, so it means, it means a lot. In the past, it was not working well because they, they were not uh, having a good relationship, the, the team spirit was not good. Then for me, it was really important to, to be sure that they were all respecting the same rules and training like a professional team. Thank <laughs> you.
Come back to 22, restrict the rules, chest, stand up fast. When we go to arrive near, near the line, uh, we know the, the defense are very strong and, uh, and uh, we have not too much space on the wall for, for scoring. That's why I go to make them work together, work on the system, and I want just them, uh, when they have the ball, to have uh, straight away somebody who come and help us to win the contact and break the wall together. It's more mental, it's more, it's more about uh, faith near the line, you know, it's, it's not just about rugby. Guys, deal, deal. 22, we are together, we stick on the system, we are eight around the ball. If we need them to the center, center will, will come, but we have to be fucking aggressive. This World Cup is just about that. We talk about every fucking time about rugby, about structure. It's now it's about combat, it's about contact. We have to win the contact. And alone we can't. But together we can. What is it? What is it? Use your legs, little steps. You go to be under contact with somebody. You have to win the contact and use your legs. Be fucking aggressive. And if you feel your, your body going down, Put your arm on the floor for trying to make a few centimeters more or to score. It's a big difference, boys. You are here to train to be better rugby players. Better physically and better technically. Every session, you must be better at the end of the session than at the beginning of the session. Okay? If you come here and we work passes just to send the ball like that, okay, stay home. You understand? You stay home. When we, we ask you to do the pass from here and push, it's not from here, it's not from here, okay? It's not doing that. It's one thing. We ask you to do this thing, you do it. Okay? It must be precise. Everything you do must be precise. Okay? I hope it's the first and the last time I have to say that. Okay? Thank you. Our coach put a lot of pressure on us. We are training a lot physically, technically and mentally. I think the team is reacting very well. This week has been really hard, but we know the, the further we go the, down the preparation, the harder it will be. It was for many years and it still is one of the tightest competitions for a position there. The competition for the forwards is, is very hard because we have all the boys from France where they play professional rugby week in, week out, where they clearly have more experience because they're older as well. I think the first thing I have to do is to be on that squad and be on the team and focus on my preparation as hard as I can because as I said, second row is a very competitive position here in our team. Two, one. A lot of good players have come. We have always a lot of competition. We need to give our best in every session to be a place in the team. I've coached Antonio Prince since he was 12 years old, so it's quite fun to, to be with him in this preparation. I'll make sure we have to, to fight for it uh, and to make sure we get the, the spot. All good? Smiles on faces? You've been great. Okay. Honeyvar? They really love rugby. And uh, for them to be qualified for the World Cup is something fantastic. It's fantastic. It's the second time that we are going in our history, so this is such a big achievement. We are all very excited to be here. Great achievements come from hard work, and to be honest, I just want to make the people who, who love me, just to make them proud. That's what I'm looking for. If we focus on ourselves and make sure every, everything we can control is on our hands, I think it will be all right. We came back from far, so for us it's really, really proud to, to be here now. It's been 15 years that Portugal has not won the Coupe du Monde, so I'm saying it's an incredible chance, it's a pride, because 
ça fait maintenant 4 ans qu'on qu lutte pour, pour qualifier le pays et, et je crois valider comme ça c'est incroyable. Maintenant on ne veut, veut pas juste faire sparring partner, on veut, on veut montrer qu'on qu est une nation montante et qu'on produit un beau rugby donc on va tout faire pour. The amount of time we're playing rugby, practicing rugby, representing Portugal, which is the biggest thing here. I don't think uh, everyone understands how, how heavy the shirt is. Play the first match, singing the national anthem in front of everybody. I know a lot of friends, family, a lot of Portuguese people will be there to support us and will be here in Portugal supporting us. We're going to have a lot of Portuguese spectators there. I think a lot of people are traveling from Portugal to watch us in France. And I think to have a, a big stadium like those in France that we're playing, full of Portuguese people cheering for us, I think is going to be amazing.